colors. I saw the repetitive uh, symbolism of clouds. But did I only see a travel junkie traveling around the world, um, you know, showing me various trips to Romania, New Zealand, the Americas, Amalfi Coast, Tuscany. No, I saw something much deeper. So women across the world face challenges. You know, they are super women. They face uh, housework, uh, children, marriage, rapids, troughs, and also triumphs. In Lata, I saw an artist who was wanting more out of life than a repetitive routine of just breeding children and marriage. I saw in this work, I saw tumult, I saw a sense of light and shade, I saw a chiaroscuro of color, I saw a kaleidoscope of thoughts, emotions, visions, uh, there is the symbolism of clouds. So in all the works you see clouds, that's one of the symbolic elements we see um, going through most of the works and it talks to us about how clouds come into life but they also pass. This work which is waiting shows a few people waiting here and we keep waiting for life to show us happier moments. We say you know when we get married we'll be happy or when we shift to New York we'll be happy or when we have kids we'll be happy. But then kids come with their own problems, marriage comes with its own challenges. So there is no utopia. Joie de vie is to be found in the moment. Joie de vie is to be found in every moment, in every situation of life. And I see Lata's work resonating with philosophies about life, with messages, not only trips to various countries all over the world. I also um, want to talk a little bit about the technique, which is very unique. Uh, did you know that there's no palette brush, there is no palette knife, there is no, um, you know, uh, instruments. She paints with her fingers and um, an artist's work is always to be seen in layers. You don't only see what the obvious is. Next time you see Mona Lisa, you, you, I encourage you to see various, you know, various thoughts and philosophies that the artist back then may have thought of when they created the work. And that's what excites me about art. That's why I've been a curator of art. And uh, uh, for me, this presentation in a historic gallery, which is the Taj Art Gallery facing the gateway of India, is a momentous uh, occasion because uh, India's famous artists, M.F. Hussain, F.N. Souza, Krishan Khanna, Paritosh Sen have shown in this gallery, especially the progressives like Akbar Padamsi. So for me, I always try to uh, you know curate art in this gallery it's special to me and today we have a high tea to celebrate the art we have a champagne high tea right here with uh, you know the who's who of Bombay celebrating this moment with us I want to uh, uh, you know talk about the art a little bit with Lata Lata what inspired you when you did these works whenever I come across something in nature the season change day and night there's so many riot of colors in nature. You know, that's what I think inspires me. You come across like maybe a sunset, but sometimes you see it in a cityscape behind the monuments, you know, and sometimes you see in the on the beach or, you know, the season change and day and night that way inspired me and the color in nature inspired me. And you also see a lot of uh, situations of human beings, mm -hmm. um, you know, like uh, there, there are two paintings called Flights of Fancy. We have so many situations where we, uh, you know, imagine life to be a particular way and it turns out another way. But everything is transient and in the clouds. In the symbolism of the clouds, you see the transience of life, you see life changing, uh, not, uh, not pain and not anguish and not happiness and not joy. None of them are permanent, it's all transient, life is transient and uh, I see that depth of philosophy in these works. Uh, you will see some of them hanging in my own home. I'm really excited to present this show not only to the city of Bombay but to San Francisco, New York. York and all over the world.
कृष्णा ने ये पेंटिंग्स बनाई हैं वो मेरे साथ आज मौजूद हैं उन्होंने जब ये काम किया था वो केवल शहरों का रंग और होलिया नहीं दिखा रहे थे वो अपने अंदर अपने अतीत पे क्या भावनाएं थीं वो आप इन पेंटिंग्स में देख सकते हैं वो खुश थे या वो दुखी थे उनके मन में बहुत दिलासा था उस वक़्त के वो अपने ड्रीम्स को फुलफ़िल करेंगे उनको लगा के जो भी वो हैं घर चला रहे हैं जैसे हर औरत करती है घर चलाती है रसोई देखना पड़ता है बच्चों को देखना पड़ता है उनके एग्ज़ाम्स को देखना पड़ता है मगर लता के दिल में और अरमान था उनके दिल में कला का अरमान था और मैं समझती हूँ उनकी कहानी बहुत सी औरतों के ज़िंदगी में हम लोग देखते हैं कि वो ज़िंदगी से और चाहते हैं और ख़ास करके हमारे देश में औरतों को बहुत चैलेंजेस होती हैं इंडिया में शोविनिज़म भी अभी हम देखते हैं पैट्रियाकल सोसाइटी है अभी भी ख़ास के टू टीयर टाउन्स में गाँव में हम देखते हैं कि औरतों को बहुत चैलेंजेस फेस करनी पड़ती हैं लता के मन में वो उस बंधन से बंधन को तोड़ के आगे बढ़ने की अरमान थी और उन्होंने ये अपने पेंटिंग के जरिए जिंदगी में अपना जो है ड्रीम्स का रेनबो दिखाया है और वो मैं उसको देख के मैं आकर्षित हुई हूँ और मैंने आ, आप सब के सामने ये आर्ट प्रेजेंट किया है कि क्योंकि मैं हमेशा आर्टिस्ट को जब अपने आ, अंडर लेती हूँ मैं आ, ये देख के लेती हूँ कि क्या उनमें वो एप्टीट्यूड है इंटरनेशनल आर्टिस्ट आप देख सकते हैं कि ये एक देश का ये एक शहर का कहानी नहीं है ये पूरे वर्ल्ड का कहानी है हर औरत का अरमान देखेंगे आप इनके रंगों में मैम आप कितना सपोर्ट करते हैं ऐसे आर्टिस्ट को जब वो आपके सामने आते हैं या आप उनके आर्ट को देखते हैं तो मैंने कभी नहीं देखा है कि आर्टिस्ट मशहूर है या जाना पहचाना नहीं है मैं बल्कि यंग आर्टिस्ट को बहुत इम्पिटस देने की कोशिश करती हूँ और मैं समझती हूँ कि जो आर्टिस्ट को रिकग्निशन नहीं है उन आर्टिस्ट को तो और ज़्यादा इम्पिटस की ज़रूरत होती है और ज़्यादा निशा जामवाल की ज़रूरत है जो मशहूर हैं उनके पास तो पूरी दुनिया सामने है तो मेरी ज़िंदगी की मकसद है कि मैं आर्टिस्ट को इनक्रेज करूं और ख़ास करके लता जैसे जो बहुत टैलेंटेड आर्टिस्ट हैं थोड़े शाए हैं जैसे कि आप देख रहे हैं वो देखिए लता अपने आर्ट के थ्रू बात करती है हम लोग उनके बारे में बात करते हैं लेकिन आर्टिस्ट की जो ज़िंदगी है वो अपने ब्रश के ज़रिए बात करते हैं अपने कलर्स के जरिए बात करते हैं और बहुत डीप मीनिंग है ना इन पेंटिंग्स में ज़िंदगी में कुछ भी परमानेंट नहीं है ना दुख ना सुख ना बच्चे ना बच्चे भी बड़े होके शादी करके चले जाते हैं हम अकेले पड़ जाते हैं तो ज़िंदगी में कोई भी माहौल परमानेंट नहीं है लाइफ इज़ ट्रांजियंट और एक यहाँ पेंटिंग भी है जिसका नाम है ट्रांजियंस उसमें हमें दिखता है कि कोई भी हमारा जो अतीत में जो भी हो रहा है दुख सुख सब ट्रांजियंट है Nisha Jamal for inviting me for this uh, fantastic exhibition and Lata thank you very much for extraordinary paintings I have to say that I spoke to the consul general of uh, of uh, Japan uh, Mr Sukuta uh, San and we thought that you know every photos can be all over the places all over the countries and the colors it's Indian Indian colors and I like it so much I would like to thank you very much it's fantastic uh, oil painting correct me if I'm wrong and Kobe is a great collector of art and a great encourager and a patron of Indian artists so Kobe this is actually not only paintings of all over the world it's also about the human state the human mind and i've written about it in this book for you Kobe what encourages you to buy so much Indian art his house is a plethora of Indian art it's a it's a very simple question and i it's a very simple answer first of all you have a fantastic artist here yes and i was in even in madhya pradesh and i saw the arts down there 
I fell in love with the art. And I see the arts also here in Mumbai and in Gujarat. You have a fantastic arts, but I tell you frankly, the most important thing is the combination of the colors. Yes. The combination of the colors in India, there are something that you don't see any place in the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Japan itself is so intricate. I lived in Hakune. Hakune. Hakune and I lived in Ibaraki. Ibaraki. Oh, and uh, I find that the detail and the beauty and the hospitality and the kindness and the softness of the Japanese soul comes through in the art. I myself am a collector of Hiroshige and Utamaru and it's such an honor to have Dr. Yasu. Doctor, tell us your full name. Ah, my name, my full name is Yasu Kadafuka Hori. I'm concerned in the concession of Japan here in Mumbai. And tell us what you think about the art. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, was, uh, I joined Kobe, uh, what he has just said. And, uh, thank you very much for the invitation to this wonderful exhibition. As a diplomat of Japan, I've been to many countries, many places, and then I think there are many exhibitions. But this is the best exhibition. Thank you. Uh, in my life. Thank that deserves you so a big much. hand for the artist yes, right here. Yeah. So Thank you very much. much. The, the, the artistic uh, expression of yours, and, uh, combination of Western techniques and then Indian atmosphere and the streets. Uh, so, um, as Kobe said, uh, the combination of colors and the combination of uh, the touches of uh, the brushes, all those uh, artistic uh, just about you uh, interest me a lot. So, um, I'm, as I said, I'm so happy to be here. They're delighted. Delighted to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Caroline is from the Netherlands, a dear friend, and uh, very excited with the overall of, of the collection today, the art. And I'm so happy that you've made it, Caroline. And we have with us Caroline and the artist Lata. Um, how, how are you feeling being here today? Um, I'm, I'm very excited to be here. Um, when I saw your invite, I said, wow, I have to be here because it looks very promising. And I just made a walk around the whole gallery and it's it's so vibrant, the paintings, and it's so uh, inviting you to see more. Um, so it's very, it's very promising. I think everybody should come and have a look at this. Um, I, I like the, the, the techniques. It's also very, uh, it's, it's like making a tour through the world as well. Yes, huh? it's because like it's actually a travel junkie, but it's also a journey within the mind. Yes. So there are various moods and moments that you see in the layers of the art. And uh, uh, it's uh, when you look at a work of art, it's also about the emotion. For instance, Picasso made um, Josephine when he was in love, and then he made her when he was angry as a pig with a snout. So art also is evocative of moods and moments, which I see very uh, prominent. I've written it in the book called Meanderings by Nisha Jamwal about the art of Lata. So um, I hope you've got the book. Yes, you gave it to me. I got the book, so I can enjoy it a bit more when I'm yes. back home as well. Yes. So thank you so much. Lovely to have you. Me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. For inviting me today to get to know wonderful art of Lata, so talented. Thank you. Really, thank you. It's always a pleasure to come and uh, be a guest in your events. It's a pleasure to have you, Dalia. Always. Always meeting very interesting people about art and culture and society. Thank you. And thank you for having me over today. You're awesome. So what did you, uh, you were there last time when I had the... Yeah, so this is not my first time. Yes. So I've been invited. So last time was also uh, very interesting about design. This yes. is more art. Last time was So more actually art. I am an architect, an interiors architect and a curator of art. And I curated this show right. as a journey into the human soul. Did, did that come through to you? It did because the pictures are taken they are uh, uh, in different places, so each picture is portraying different scenery, different emotion, and, and different moods. You know, some are darker. But what is the overriding emotion in all the works? Is happiness? Absolutely, yes. and I think creativity. Yes. And as an Israeli, and I think we are known to be creative.
creative in different, in different fields, I connect to that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much.